Five, four, three, two, one. This is the Doctor bringing you set four of Wu Jing vs. KT. We have Flash versus Seiya, or really, Flash is the brown Terran in the 1 o'clock position, and Seiya is the yellow Terran in the 7 o'clock position. My favorite StarCraft player is Flash. I think Flash is an incredible player. I knew he was special when I watched the GOM TV Invitational, I think it's the GOM TV Star Invitational or Classic Invitational, the one, the first GOM TV tournament. And there was a game that I stayed up at like 5 or 4 a.m. to watch Flash vs. Savior. Uh, back when Savior was slumping, but he sort of sometimes displayed flashes of his own brilliance. Ah, yes, uh, pun intended. But Flash. That game was just incredible. I don't know if it's still up on the GOM TV website, but if you can go look for it. I mean, Flash used the eraser trick to basically win the game. I just thought that was completely awesome. And since then, I'm a massive fan of Flash. Really, as a player who is not particularly good, apparently his Terran vs. Terran is only at like 40 something percent, 46 or 47 percent win rate. Flash lately, some people have been saying that Flash is on a bit of a slump and looks like really sending out one of his SAVs. He's probably going to put down forward racks. Yeah, and Flash looks like he's putting down 14 CC. No, he's putting down his barracks. I thought he was going to put down 14 CC, but apparently not. This is interesting. So this time, Flash put his supply depot above his command center. That is, I'm pretty sure, to streamline the gas collection from the refinery. So there are all these little tricks. Flash, if you watch the videos with him before the game, he has this ruler and he's out measuring something. He's the only programmer that I've ever seen do this. So he is some sort of StarCraft savant or prodigy. He's just, I don't even know what he's measuring with that ruler. If anybody knows that, let me know. I think He's measuring like his keyboard, but I don't know why he does that. It looks like Flash is scouting the top left position first. Uh, Flash is putting down his command center as his natural, so he going uh, racks into the command center. Fairly safe, but it looks like command center. No, that's a factory going down for really. So this is sort of going to be like game one, at least the build orders between Barracks and uh, the other guy, Sin, but. Flash is Flash, and I've almost never seen boring games coming from him. Sometimes he makes inexplicable, weird decisions, but other times those weird decisions pay out. We'll see what exactly Flash goes for in this game, whether he goes for standard play or something interesting. Looks like really he's managed to find Flash's base. He's floating his barracks up all the way to the top right. It's going to take a while. Really, he's putting down his command center now. So really, he's going to have a bit of a early aggressive advantage, but he's going to be at a disadvantage economically. And Flash is such a good defensive player that I think really he's not going to be able to exploit any sort of aggressive attack. I've noticed that Flash does have some weakness in the sense of tactical play. He's not always the best at fighting battles. He can lose battles that he really shouldn't have. But strategically, Flash is unmatched in StarCraft. He always knows where to attack and when to attack. It's just incredible. It looks like really sending out his Vulture, but with Bunker going down for Flash, it's not going to be able to do much. Really getting his... Machine Shop, he's probably going to put down yep, the second factory and then get Siege Mode, I'm guessing. It looks like Flash is building a few more Marines just to fortify his front there. Uh, so Flash now with his second base up and running in his first factory, he's getting a starport. So he's probably going for this sort of Wraith supplementing the standard Terran mech army. I don't know what exactly that sort of build is called. If anybody knows, I'd be interested. But I find it very exciting to see this combined arms type approach. The old Terran vs. Terran was, I think, in some ways more interesting due to the positioning 
with the dropships, but in many ways less interesting because, well, it tended to give these long, static, immovable lines of siege tanks. Now it's still kind of like that, but the raves do add an element of mobility and harassing power. It looks like really he's bringing out three vultures to try to attack Flash's front. He's probably waiting for speed to upgrade and then doing a run by. If he actually chose to upgrade that first in his machine shop, we'll see. He the other option is he's going to mine up the front, and looks like really his barracks is just being sent away by that marine there. He's not careful. Might burn down. It looks like really has five ultra. He's going for the break. He's going for the attack. He doesn't have mine or speed upgrade. He just marches through the front. Now he has mines. He's mining up the ramp. Very clever. With those three vulture, he can do massive damage to Flash. They're showing a shot of Flash, but it looks like oh that mine doing damage to Flash's siege tank. Flash is desperately repairing it with his SEVs. It looks like really he's mining up even more at the front of Flash's base. Flash has scan and he's going to be able to clear out these mines and really ultimately did not manage to do anything. He did see the Wraith coming from Flash, so that's helpful, but I feel like he could have done some more economic damage. He probably got a little too greedy laying the mines and not doing enough in terms of attack. It looks like really he's going to counter with the Goliaths. Yeah, Flash using that Wraith to burn down really his barracks. Always a good move. If really wants to win, really wants to build more factory, he has no choice but to build another barracks. Barracks landing, but it doesn't matter, it's just gonna burn down soon anyway. I guess he delays it by a bit. Really put down two additional factory before his barracks burns down. And Flash is getting two more factories too. Getting rid of that barracks also gets rid of the useful scouting advantage that you can get from it. So it's, it's really quite useful, I think, to do that. It looks like Flash is pushing out with some of his tanks and he's got that Wraith scouting around, spotting where really his forces are. Always useful, really bringing two Goliaths. Flash, be careful. Oh dear, Flash loses the Wraith in a very silly manner. But it doesn't matter too much at this point. Flash now has a dropship coming out. He's gonna load up a few vultures, going to probably go for the main. And it remains to be seen what exactly Flash is going to go for. He hasn't built any more raids. It looks like really with that vulture managed to scout out Flash's drop, so things are not going well for Flash right now. Well, in terms of his attacks, so luck was not on his side. If Flash went the top direction, for instance, it would not have been scouted by that vulture. So elements of luck do play into StarCraft like that. And really he's bringing out two Goliaths to try to intercept that dropship. It looks like he's just about going to intercept the dropship. And really he's, yeah, he's going to try to kill this dropship with the Goliaths. I don't think they're going to manage to do it. But he's managed to ward it away though, and Flash cannot do the drop that he wants. Now it looks like really streaming some more vultures, and this is going to be kind of dangerous. Flash has all these things clumped up in the middle. Really can use his vultures to lay mines all around them. That's not going to be good. Yeah, Flash's tanks are still mostly clumped up. It's, it's definitely very dangerous positioning if he's not careful. And Flash sending his vultures to do harassment, he's left his tanks completely open to attack, but really is not going to attack. So, it looks like Flash is just sieging up in the front here. He's getting his third base now, his second expansion at the 3 o'clock. And now Flash has microed his tanks so that they form a nice line. And so sometimes players can catch Flash out of position like that. Like when he had his tanks clump up and do some significant damage. That's what I mean, tactically. Flash does have that weakness at times. Flash bringing this dropship managed to delay the third base of really. He's got his dropship probably with some more vultures. He's trying to attack a bit in the f middle too to distract really. He's got a vulture drop at the natural. He probably has one more vulture to drop at the main really. But uh, this little harassment didn't really do that much in terms of economic damage. I think he maybe killed a few SEVs and delayed really's expansion by a few s 
seconds, but it's not that significant. Flash's dropship. One more hit to take it out. Uh, Flash is trying to escape with the dropship. It looks like the dropship is going to escape. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So, huh? Flash's dropship lives to fight another day. Or it lives to drop another day because I guess dropships can't fight. Now Flash is bringing some more vultures delaying the expansion again. Now really is pushing the front. Flash has no vultures there to defend. And this is what I mean. Really is laying mines with his vulture. And Flash's tank line is completely destroyed. Really has a significant advantage of tanks in the middle now. Flash brought his vultures back. He's furiously playing right now. He's laying mines all around Rilly's tanks. Mines are going off. Rilly has more tanks. Flash is laying down more mines. It looks like Rilly's tanks are going to get destroyed by mines too. Really loses almost all of his tanks. He only has one left. So Flash manages to defeat Rilly's push in the same way that really attacked Flash. Those vultures are really critical, but critically, Flash is delay that third base of Rilly's. Rilly did not have the presence of mind to send another SCE down during that attack. Now Flash is in the economic lead. And things are going to get harder and harder for... It looks like really managed to transfer his SEVs over without realizing the, the command center wasn't constructed. Oh, this is really going to suck. No pun intended in this case. And really he's putting down another command center. 9 o'clock position. He's trying to out-expand Flash. Which... This is not necessarily a bad idea, but Flash, I think, is going to smell water and looks like really he's bringing some vultures to attack the 3 o'clock position. Flash, though, with his vultures managing to ward them off, really did some small damage, but it wasn't a critical blow. And Flash putting down additional factories and his third expansion, too. He's, well, his fourth command center, which will be floated over. And it looks like Flash is delayed really is third base and it looks like Flash brought in some more vultures the constant harassment attacks by Flash really always seems to have his units out of position to protect his expansions so the harassment has significantly pulled or pulled Flash significantly ahead of really at this point so there's I don't think there's too much really can do outside of a decisive attack right now he needs to do some serious damage with his army just it looks like Flash again manages to delay Rilly's base at the 3 o'clock position. It really just like looks like he doesn't have a response to this. He brought in, what, seven tanks to deal with one vulture? So Flash, certainly his superior micro, uh, multitasking abilities are showing to him now. It looks like Flash is going to push the front with a tank, or maybe not. He's just sieging up right now. He's trying to flank the position in the center by bringing a lot of tanks around in the north, but really has his tank sieged up there too. And Flash's push is not going to get anywhere. So it looks like the tank line has sort of stabilized again, but really came out ahead in that encounter and destroyed most of Flash's tanks. The, the, the northern force that Flash is sending over. However, Flash has gotten quite a few more raves. I don't think really has any Goliaths. He has one Goliath. Whereas Flash has got quite a few raves here that he can use to do some damage. Or at least force really to sort of pull back his tanks. But really he's sieging them up again, so he must be waiting for his Goliaths. He only has the one Goliath there. And Flash is just going to maraud around with these raves. It looks like Flash... Oh, so he brought two vouchers down. He, Flash is trying to put down another expansion at the 5 o'clock position. And so if he manages to get that up, he's going to be one base over really. I don't even know how well Really's expansion at the 9 o'clock position is working out for him right now. Really's getting Valkyrie. Very interesting. He's an